Good morning, everybody. It's the tenth of Adar, which, uh, in my family's history, going way back, it has tremendous significance. Before that, I just wanted to make one comment about something I heard last night. What's the Sean Hannity? He had an old recording from the 1970s when Joe Biden was first elected to the Senate. He was the youngest senator ever elected. And he said something along, he said a lot of really offensive things, but it was a different time. And (laughs) he said, you know, you and the audience, whether you're a, a doctor, a lawyer, an Indian chief, you know, I do a lot more as a politician, I can do a lot more than any of you can do. And I'll tell you something. I have an Indian chief who works for me, and he does a lot more than Joe Biden has ever done as a politician. You know, in the past two years that this this Indian chief worked for me, then he calls himself. That's what he calls himself. So I, I maybe I get maybe that's his word. He can use it. Maybe I can't work use it. But the Native American chief uh, worked for me for about a year and a half. I guess two years, year and a half. What's the difference, right? I can, if Joe Biden can get away with it, so can I. I'm just a guy on YouTube. I'm nobody. <laughs> you know, if he, <laughs> I, I can't really talk about what goes on at work, but he accomplished a lot. <laughs> that was actually my first major assignment when I got this job. I was told by my supervisor, you got to find us an Indian chief. Well, he's a Native American chief, but then the chief himself, he says that. So let's move on from here, it's the 10th of Adar, and <clears throat> first of all, closer in history, it's the yard site of my ancestor, yesterday was my Bubba's yard site, to the second yard site, of my, and then my ancestor on my Zayda's side uh, was um, Moshe Arya Kruler, was uh, the second chief rabbi of Krula in, in Hungary. Uh, that's the, the town where much later, you know, many great Rabbonim, including, uh, of course, the Satmar Rav, was the Rav in Kula. Spinker Rebbe, Persian Spinker was Rav there. Many other major Rabbonim in Krula, and the first two were my ancestors, were Meyer Leib and Ramosha Arya. And so uh, that's why I named my son after both of them. Moshe Arya Kruler, uh, in his day, the the Berdichever, Reb Levi Yitzchak Kunsar Sasha Reb Berdichev, Schusi Egalainu Kolsmein, the Halak Berdichever of, came to visit him, and he, some say he he jumped out the window to avoid meeting the Berdichever of, because he was afraid that he was like a magnet would draw him into the Hasidic movement and. I'll be honest with you, as much as I love the Bardichever, and I have tremendous devotion to the Bardichever, uh, the fact that uh, my Zayda, the crueler of, was Ehrlich, and he had Zikr Gehalt in his own old way, and he didn't want to turn away from, from what, uh, what, how he'd grown up. To me, that's a bigger Ehrlich kite than uh, the Bardichever would be different, but some of the other... Russian Rebbe's, I don't know. Uh, not not to put them down, but it's just uh, for me, myself. In the end, they say, so the Rebbe's and my, my Alta, Alta Baba, going back, you know, seven generations, she, she, uh, said, you know, she recognized the Bardichev was in Tzadik Yisrael Lam, and invited him in, and got a bracha for the children, and for herself, for the children. So, uh, Berdichever said to whoever was with him, the Gaba, whatever, he said, Einer von Saigai, Sein von Inzaga. One of these is going to be mine, going to be from ours. And uh, one of the children there, he grew up to be a Berdichever Chassid and a Rebbe. Was the, 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 before the, uh, before the, uh, the Menuchas Asher was in Chengar. So, uh, there was Rabbi Anderson Ben Yomin Ostreicher, my great great uncle, was uh, was the Rebbe in Chengar, and, and so was my Elter Elter Zayde, uh, Rabbi Shishpitz, 
which was also a Rav in Chengar. So Ramosha Schmitz was the Aiden by Ramosha Ari Kuhler. There are many other stories from Ramosha Ari Kuhler, but for now we'll, we'll, we'll leave it where it is. So Ramosha Schmitz uh, was not only a big, tremendous scuttle, you know, the Rav and Changer, and uh, you know, known for for his piety and, and you know he was an Erlichid and a Talmud Chacham, and, and uh, also had many great stories about him, the Radifas that they went through in those days, and things like that. Uh, but uh, he was a big Yachsen also. He was an Enikel from the Chavos Yor, and of course then from the Chavos Yor to Maral in Prague, he was an Enikel from, from the Shlach Kodesh. Uh, and big, big, big Zaydas. And in the Sefer, the Minhagi Vermiza, <coughs> the customs of the Jewish community in Worms in Germany, it's recorded that this day, the 10th of Adar, was a fast day, at least locally in Worms, was a fast day. And the reason was somewhat could be apropos to what's going on today in the Yom a little bit and maybe this day would be a good day uh, if, if we're not up to fasting maybe half the day something even they said Arab Shabbos they weren't Marshall and Titus but uh, if you ate something already or whatever it is but uh, it was a fast to remember the pogroms that took place at, uh, because of the, the Black Plague the Black Death, um, and so from that, uh, there was a program. I guess took place on the tenth of, of Adar in, in the Minhagi Vermiza. They have it's printed now. They have the, the notes of, of my my old Zayda, the Chavos Yores, Chazigoedu. But it, it records there what slichas were said then, um, and so forth. Uh, so it's. Uh, you know that in Verms they would say slichas. They would, they would uh, lane vaychal. They said even if it was a Monday or Thursday, in the morning they would lane vaychal. Not just, uh, not just by mincha. Uh, there's a whole discussion in halacha about that. So it's, uh, it's a fascinating thing, but it shows that this day has that connection. So on one hand, I had last night a little yard site suda. For, for for you know for such as Ada for, for the for my Shire cooler for the high liquor cooler of it was the schwer from Sheila cooler also my my elder elder Baba Moshe Schmitz's Rabbitson Changer Rabbitson also was I think it was by Zivik Shaney that she was married to Sheila cooler so by in, in Bloomingburg they have the by Shia Medrash there, it's named after Sheila Krula. Um, so anyway, this is uh, what we have to share. It's a, it, it should be a day, I think, to reflect on this, the effect that diseases have had on our community and so forth, and the day of prayer and supplication to God, even if it's in a small way, I'm not saying you have to say all the slichas and fast and everything like that old days, but to remember such a thing, and, and now, you know, again, sometimes Jewish communities are getting blamed for different diseases unjustly, just like it was at that time, to reflect on that, not only Jewish communities, other communities, and to, uh, so, to have all of these things combined, we should be zeche, to, uh, to have everything we need, and to have refuas, Hashem should protect us from all sickness, I really believe this whole thing is, is they're making a mountain out of a molehill it's not really that much it's just another flu, another cold they just really want to make the president look bad, I mean with the swine flu it was much much worse but because the media liked the president they didn't uh, they didn't insult him like they're doing now but whatever it is God should protect us in any way from all things and also not only from the 
and it's a, it's a sign for us to do tshuva. That's what all of these things are doing. God wants to hear our prayers. God wants us to repent, and that's what's important. All right, God, God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good Shabbos, and we'll, we'll see you later.